Everybody, welcome to my watercolor channel once again. I am Leonard, and today we'll be painting a pavlova. And if you find this video helpful, remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. So we will start off with a fun fact: pavlova is actually a dessert that originated from the land down under and named after a Russian ballerina. I got all these from Wikipedia. And I find it really fascinating because I've always assumed that all pastries are from France, like croissant and macarons, and pavlova definitely sounds like one of them. Anyways, um, let's start out with the first layer. I'm just starting off with a really wet brush here, pretty much gauging between light and dark values. I'm also taking note of the highlights, which I have sketched out in advance. I can't emphasize how important it is to have a detailed sketch to minimize possible mistakes if you are aiming for a realistic outcome. Watercolor dries fast, so if you're hesitating about where or where not to paint because of a poor sketch, that might reflect in the outcome. So be sure to sketch nicely and really work with light washes and slowly build your way up, so that's easier to like undo if you ever make any mistakes. Of course, these are just tips for realistic or really detailed painting. If you're going into loose painting or something illustrative, you might not even need a sketch, so don't worry about that. Also, by now you would have realized that I prefer painting around highlights as compared to painting them with white paint later on. So you can see me doing a lot of this here. And this is really just preference. I personally prefer leaving white spaces because I think it looks more natural. And I like using the whites of the paper to show the highlights as compared to using white paints. But it can actually be quite challenging because you have to intentionally avoid painting certain areas which is tedious especially if you're going for a flat wash and there are like little objects or things in between. In that case, I would suggest using a masking fluid or white paint. I'm working on my second or third layer right now and you begin to really see the berries pop out I don't usually count the layers because there's no definition of how many layers you would need to make a painting realistic or whatnot. It just happens gradually when the colors are vibrant enough or when there's like really sharp contrast and you wouldn't really notice it as you're painting. You just have to take a step back and when you see it in a different lens, then you would realize that it's actually very realistic. At least that's what happened to me. When I first started painting realistically, I remember going to the toilet and when I came back, I saw the painting. It was much better than what I thought it was when I was painting it. On to the creamy part of the pavlova, I try working with less layers as possible and I'm using a lot of wet on wet for the shadows. This would give it a smooth texture 
that's what you can see here just doing a bit of glazing here Once that's done, I just do some finishing touches to make sure that the details are on point. And voila, Pavlova is ready to be served. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Once again, remember to subscribe and click on the thumbs up if you have learned something. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!